Hi, it's Willa Gilfram, Mirror Answer, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Computer Engineering course and the CSIT course and compare those two courses in terms of your preferences or, or what you might want to learn uh, choosing any of those courses. So let's begin with computer engineering. So what is computer engineering? Computer engineering is simply the study of a computer, its implementation design. Uh, simply by its name, engineering, uh, it is an approach to, to build something or it is an approach of doing things in a practical manner. But however, CSIT is kind of different. It's, it's more more scientific course and you're not just, you're not going to learn a lot about practical implementation of things you're learning, but you're going to learn about the actual science that is behind computers. You're going to learn about the computing, you're going to learn about programming, and more things that you actually need to understand how a computer system works or how the computer system can be implemented. So basically CSIT is all about the science, however computer engineering is all about the engineering, the implementation of the particular science which you learn. So you might wonder what are the main common uh, things that are in both courses. The first and basic common thing in, in both courses is uh, the programming. You're going to learn about programming and uh, if you go for any of the courses. Then another basic common thing is, is you're going to learn about data structures, you're going to learn about the computers implementation and then other aspects or the basic aspects of computing and computers. So what are the basic differences in those two courses? So uh, if you go for a computer engineering you're going to learn about uh, hardware, you're going to learn a whole lot of math and physics and also general engineering. You're going to learn about thermodynamics, engineering, drawing, chemistry and subjects like these which you might think they are not really relevant to you but uh, from the perspective of engineering they are, these subjects are really essential uh, since, you, since every engineer needs uh, to understand the basic ideas of engineering. But if you go for CSIT, you're not going to learn about hardwares, however, you're going to learn a lot about programming. Now let's get into uh, things you might want to learn and which course is good for you. So let's first to start with the uh, program. If you want to be a computer programmer or if you want a career in programming, then both courses are pretty good and, uh, and there is not really a great deal of difference. But however, CSIT seems to be more promising. Now let's talk about hardwares. What if you want to learn about hardwares? What if you want to learn about robotics and, and stuff like that? then uh, computer engineering is good for you. Uh, you should not go for CSID course. That's pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about internships and job opportunities. Uh, if you are a computer engineer, computer science student, and once you graduate, uh, if you have good enough amount of skills, you can do a job anywhere. Now if you talk about internships, uh, uh, colleges which teach uh, you CSIT are going to ask you for internships and you can do some really interesting professional level uh, work uh, if, you, if you go for CSIT and also I see a lot of engineering students doing uh, internships even though college uh, does not really want you to do. So it does not really matter which uh, course you're taking but CSIT uh, internship is must. Now let's talk about the government jobs. You can get a government job if you do CSID or computer engineering, but, but if there is a, a vacancy announcement for a computer engineer or an engineer, you cannot apply uh, if you're a CS, a computer science student. So let's talk about projects in engineering. You're going to do a lot of projects and, and in CSIT also, but uh, I believe engineers tend to do more projects because uh, campus really uh, focuses on how you do your project in the final year. So they call it major projects and minor projects. So engineering colleges really uh, focus on those projects and, and that's really interesting. And there are major and minor projects in CSIT as well so you're going to do a lot of projects and it, it doesn't really matter what if your college wants you to do something but if you have re if you have a great interest in, in doing something if you're interested in a certain technology you can always do projects you can always start a project in your room and, and complete it and show it to your friends or just just go with it. Now, at the end both courses are really great. They are well designed and they are great for, for someone who is really interested in technology. And believe me, end of the day all matters is how good problem solver you are. So how well you are handling a certain problem in computers. That is what matters uh, the most and, and both courses are really great and uh, you can learn a lot about computing, computers and technology. So that's all in this video. If you have any question, query or anything you want to ask about these courses, please put a comment below or send us a message on our Facebook page.